and welcome to The Eating Coach. I'm Harriet Morris and I am absolutely delighted to be interviewing Julie Richards from Julie Richards Portraits because Julie has an absolutely fantastic project that I, I'm really excited. I went to talk to her about this and then I just invited her onto the podcast. So welcome, Julie. How are you today? Good morning. Uh, I'm great. I'm all right. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit nervous, but, but I'm OK. <laughs> it's fine. We, we will be fine. And as I said to you earlier, what we've got to talk about is so interesting. So this is called the 40 Over 40 Project. So I'm going to leave it to you to tell everyone what that's about. OK, so basically, um, yeah, I mean, I, I prefer to call it a campaign, to be honest. Um, I feel like it's more of a, a campaign for women. Um, and yeah, so it's called the 40 Over 40 campaign. And it's basically um, 40 women uh, over 40. So you don't have to be in your 40s. You can be in your 40s and your 50s and your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. And it's all about empowering women about empowering more mature women over 40 um, because basically um, as we get older and the menopause starts to kick in um, we all start to feel a little bit invisible and um, you know we, we lose our confidence and um, so it's about kind of regaining yourself if you like um, I think as well, you know, when you've had when you well when you've got family and you you kids are starting to grow, and you just lose yourself, don't you? You know, um, so it's something just for you, if so, you want it to be. Yeah. So can you explain <laughs> to me exact exact but exactly if somebody is interested in this campaign, what what happens? Are the forty people all together, or ha ha tell me yes. tell me about the details because that was what yeah. I thought was just really exciting. Okay. It's, it's a whole experience. It's not just a photo shoot. Um, it's about empowering them through these beautiful images, and um, they can have up to five outfit changes. Uh, and um, so they can do things like they can just be casual in one of them. So they could just wear like a top and some jeans or barefoot. Um, they could go real full out glamorous and wear beautiful gowns, that kind of thing, which I do have. <laughs> so can I just interrupt? So I think you said when I spoke to you about this that you do ha actually have some clothes that so people can, if they don't I feel do. that they've got five nice outfits. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I have um, two in particular, which have proved very, very popular, um, which have actually got nicknames and really? um, and they fit anybody. And one is called Marilyn, it's called the Marilyn, <laughs> the Marilyn gown. And uh, she is something to behold. She is like a soft kind of pinky mauve and you just slip her on and she's made of tulle and she's big and she's puppy, puffy and she's glamorous. And she reminded me of uh, Marilyn Monroe. Wow. That's wow. why she called <laughs> Marilyn. Um, and then the other one is exactly the same, but uh, but it, but it's black. And she's kind of more sexy and, oh, you know. Um, wow. So I, nicked, I nicknamed her Eartha, as in Eartha Kit, because oh, that's, that's what it. she reminds yeah. me of. And it's quite interesting, the women that have taken part so far. Some have gone for the pink one. Uh, Marilyn some have gone for Eartha yeah. and you know I think if you're really girly girly which I'm not actually but I am wearing pink today <laughs> I do like pink but I'm not particularly girly but a lot of the girlier women um you know they've gone for Marilyn and the more kind of I don't know sexy have gone down the black um Eartha kit route um, but those are just two. I have got I've got some others as well, and I've got I've got different things. Um, so this is why I do a consultation. I encourage people. To, we can do it over Zoom, but I prefer people to come into the studio um, because I, I like to meet people. I like to see people's faces and uh, get really get to know yes, them. Yes. And then they can have a look at the studio. They can have a look at the gowns. Uh, they can try them on if they want to. And then we can set. What we do is we then sit and we literally can plan how wow. they want to be seen in these images That's so those amazing. five outfit changes you know uh, if they want to they can do some business more business type ones you know so they can tie that in too they can do some you know type headshots personal branding I have had a lady that's done a bit of both which worked really really well 
Um, they can do a bit of boudoir. You know, there's all these different yes. things. We can use different lighting techniques. I've got different colored backdrops. So this is what I do. I create um, a Pinterest board for people. Um, I, got, I can put ideas on there. They can put ideas on there. So we really pin down exactly what the shoot for them is going to look like. Yes. So okay. to, just to interrupt then. So yeah. first of all, you're in Shrewsbury, which is my town. So I, I just am. want to say if anybody yeah. is interested and they want to actually come to Shrewsbury, I would yeah. love to meet you and take you out for a, a drink. Because <laughs> this, it would be an awesome thing for me. I, I do it everything was. on Zoom. But um, yeah. But also, I what I'm really getting from this is it really is about the experience. It's not just about having a you know the, an image on uh, print or, or in yeah. digital. It's about mm-hmm. the experience. So, t- can you tell me the, the the maybe one or two stories from the women who've taken part in this and how this has made them feel? Sure. Um, so afterwards, when it's all kind of finished and they receive their um. Uh, images I like to sit down and ask them some questions and uh, I'm kind of getting more or less the same answer from people um so I always like to ask them what drew them you know what drew them to the project why did why did they want to take part uh and the majority of people in fact probably all of them have said because they wanted to do something for themselves Um, I think we've all got busy lives, you know, we're mothers, wives, partners, you know, busy, busy jobs, all the rest of it. And and because of that, we're also, you know, we're all doing all these things all the time. We never get time for ourselves. Uh, And then add into the mix, you know, that you're a bit older and you're starting to feel a bit rubbish about yourself, um, maybe because of, you know, menopause, whatever. Um, So they wanted to do something to make them feel good about themselves. You know, and it was just something for them. So the whole day, because it is a whole day, you know, you literally come in at 10 in the morning, you have a professional hair and makeup done. Um, you know, you might have a little glass of bubbles as well, <laughs> just to relax. <laughs> and um, and then obviously because we're doing, you know, up to five outfit changes, this can take a long time. You know, I don't rush. I take time. I create a playlist on Spotify for people that's tailored to them. I'll wow, ask you what music wow. you like. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but I, okay. I remember being really impressed when you told me about this because I thought it would be, you know, you come in and there's an hour and there's five other no. people following me. And no, it's no, like, no, no, it's 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 a whole day experience for one woman just it for is. her. Yeah, absolutely. It is. It's totally because it's important to take time out for yourself. And I think in this day and age, um, we are starting now to do things for ourselves, aren't we? You know, yes. whether that be journaling, you know, taking having a routine. I've just started with a routine in the morning of looking after myself a bit better. Yes. Um, and that's yoga, meditation. Um, but things like this, an experience yeah. like this, is just important. Yes. You know? So one of my core principles is that actions change beliefs. And what I find is that people may have a belief like, oh, no, I'm invisible. I must wear all black. She says, this is actually yeah. black. It's, a, it's, <laughs> it's sort of dark. It's dark blue. But, uh, yeah, but sometimes I'm a bit I'm a bit guilty of wearing dark colours. But this idea of like not wanting to be seen. So what people do is that they make themselves invisible and yes. then the, the belief gets entrenched. But we can disrupt the belief with an action. And what an amazing action this photo shoot would be to say wow I'm not invisible so I know that you do you tell me you do some amazing things to help a woman put her at ease with the way that you take photos so you just start tell us about that because I I, (laughs) it was a real education for me yeah um I think one of the big things is that women I don't like having their photos taken I think they'd rather go to the dentist (laughs) than you know it's it's such a thing you know women don't like the way they look we are so negative about ourselves and this is another thing that I'm trying to change you know I'm guilty of it too you know we look at ourselves and we go oh don't like this don't like that don't like the other but you can come to me people will say oh I'm so nervous and I say don't feel nervous because you don't actually have to do anything all you've got to do is just turn up you get your hair and your makeup done yeah, you'll have a little glass of bubbles if you want one. There's no, you know, you don't have to. Um, but if you do, there's a little glass of bubbles for you there, which which relaxes you. And then 
as far as posing is concerned, because I think that is the major worry for people that, that really, really do want this experience, but they're like, oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. That's my job. As, as a photographer, right. that is my job. I do that. So I literally pose you from head to toes. And when I say toes, fingertips, everything, wow. I literally do just that because I'm all about soft, delicate hands, you know, pointy feet, you know, a bit like think of a beautiful dancer, yes. you know. And so a lot of people we do the mannequin hands, you know, like this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about soft hands. So all of that is about it. That's my job. That's exactly what I do. So you are, you just literally turn up <laughs> and I just literally guide you into each pose, whether it be standing, sitting, lying on the floor, whatever. You can just relax. And I can guarantee thinking about, you know, the ladies that have taken part in this and, and in my other, you know, day to day stuff as well that I do, you know, that's how I'm really nervous. And literally within five minutes, they've forgotten about that. Yes. Because, you know, we've got the music on. I'm telling you how to pose. I'm telling you where to stand. I'm telling you where to sit. We're having a bit of a laugh. So you, all of a sudden you've forgotten that you're actually having your photo taken. Yeah, and you're just, you're just having fun with a friend. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and that's how I gear up my sessions to make people feel comfortable. Yes. That and, to me is important. Yeah. And, and something that strikes me, I see a lot of people with profile pictures that are 10, 20 years old and yeah. that you, you meet them <laughs> and you think, really, really? Or you see <laughs> them on the like... and you're like, really? So, I mean, this, I just think it's, because it's saying I'm ashamed of who I am now. This woman with more experience, with more wisdom and, and who has lived and breathed an extra 10 years. Can we not see her, please? You know what I, I mean? know. I've, I, it, it really saddens me. It really saddens me that I see people out there. I think especially entrepreneurs, you know, business people that have, that have got their businesses, whether that be big or small. I think it's so important to put yourself out there because I, in particular, if I'm going to buy something, I will buy off people that, A, I can see, that look friendly and approachable yes, uh, and that I trust. Do you know what I mean? So I yes. think it's so important to have an up-to-date photograph. Absolutely. Whether it Absolutely. be on Facebook, Instagram, ooh, LinkedIn, wherever. You know, it doesn't have to be a corporate shot, you know, no. which I think a lot of people think it, it, it should be if you've got your own business. It doesn't have to be like that. You know, you can you could use this experience to get one of these yeah. nice photos. Exactly. But it does photos. have to be high quality. And I'm thinking of people like me who have their own business. If yes. you want to send something to the press, they demand high quality yeah. photos. Absolutely. Don't they? Uh, and, yeah. and I think yeah. that the investment in a photographer and, and yeah. all of the other stuff, which we're usually yeah. too busy to to do with hair and makeup and everything like yes. that. It's yeah. it's worth it's it, you know, just people who have their own business worth itself it's, many times it's over. Really yeah absolutely you know it's, it's really important and as well you know every client will get a choice on um how they want to be edited as well can i just say wow. so um some people want to be edited a lot you know with with photoshop and that's fine other women don't want to be edited barely at all and some people will just go with do you know what no that's me yes. you know that is me. That's what I want to look like. So this, I think this thing about, you know, in fact, kind of just say quickly this morning um, before I got up, I was uh, scrolling through Instagram and Jennifer Aniston has just had a photo shoot done uh, with, um, I think it's called Allure magazine. Uh, photos are just, I mean, she's beautiful anyway, um, but the photographs were just stunning. Absolutely amazing. But I always like to click through um comments and some of the comments were like oh she's too photoshopped she doesn't need to be photoshopped like that blah 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 well actually i was looking at the i think what people don't realize is different lighting styles can make people look different really you no know? oh god yeah yeah definitely yeah you can have um just very briefly so if i was if you if i was in front of this window and you know this was in front of me here I, my face would be like a, just a broad, you know, just a broad light. So it would make yes. me look really soft 
uh, and it would get rid of all my wrinkles. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Because um, so if I'd got an overhead light, um, that would show up my wrinkles because the light's coming down. So it would create shadows under my cheeks. So there's lots of different ways you can light people, you know. Um, but anyway, so I was reading through these comments and I thought, oh, it's really sad that people can't just go, that's a beautiful photo of her. Yes. Regardless of yes there was one of them in particular was a little bit on the heavy side possibly but the others were, were absolutely beautiful you know and she is a natural beauty isn't she and 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 I think it's a real personal preference how you want to be seen in your photos so that is something else for, for women to think about you know it's entirely up to you how you want to be edited yes. I will do nothing okay. if you don't want me to or I will give you the whole shaboodle <laughs> okay okay you know so, so. um so, yeah, and there was just one one more thing that I was thinking about with this, because because also this is in terms of money, this is a fantastic offer, isn't it? So do you want to yes. do you want to explain yeah. just a little bit about about the money and what people get? And then I, I've got this idea that I talking to you about earlier. So, OK, yeah. So basically, um, the actual uh, shoot itself uh costs 250 pounds okay so for the 250 pounds you get a consultation and um then you also get a welcome pack uh, and the welcome pack includes a style guide um so it's got different um like different dresses uh different for, for like casual and it, and it lists all these things so it gives you ideas of what you could possibly wear if you didn't want to wear any my things you know um and then also you get a beauty guide as well in this welcome pack and um the beauty guide gives you a timeline so it's like a countdown in weeks to your shoot so it's when to get your hair cut when to get cut, oh, when to get your yeah when to get your nails done um you know if you're gonna have your eyebrows done when what what's what's the best time before the shoot to get them done because obviously you don't want to have them done the night before because they'd be all red do you yeah, know there's yeah. all these little things that need thinking about um so you get that as well um and then um obviously you get the professional hair and makeup i've got a, an amazing lady um that does the hair and makeup um cassie she's fabulous and uh, she's a very very funny lady so you come and um get all your makeup done and she'll sit and discuss it with you on how you want to be seen in these photos whether you just want a bit of light you know a light bit of makeup or um, you want to go the whole shaboodle with you know the fake eyelashes which which every single lady does let me tell you really <laughs> Really? Have done, yeah every single lady has gone for you know glamorous and um yeah eyelashes uh, because it just looks amazing um and then obviously the photo shoot itself which uh is like I say an all day thing um and then um exactly after the photo shoot literally as you're getting uh, back into your own clothes I'll load up the photos onto my laptop and we will then sit and go through the images so um for the 250 pounds it comes with one image um and that's an 11 by 14 image which will be mounted and that is your choice i don't choose that for you because i will always choose something else <laughs> is that true is it's it very very interesting very very interesting yeah um as a photographer you see different things yeah. but as a person who's yes, looking at photos yeah. you go for something else yeah. Um, so you get to choose that photo. Uh, also, there is an opportunity to buy more if you wish. Okay. But okay. you can just have the one yeah. image. All right. And, um, so um, just something that occurred yeah. to me as well, because I'm not somebody who naturally wears a lot of makeup. Like I've never no. worn blusher in my life. But I remember I got a profession when I got a professional photo done before. I remember someone saying to me, you need more makeup than feels comfortable for you. you so when you you're do. saying about the eyelashes, I was thinking, oh, I've never had uh, false eyelashes. But <laughs> I can imagine that it's a different it's a different kind of uh, deal yeah. and that, that they are more they don't look as stand out as if you just put them on, yeah. on in the morning and went to Tesco's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very true. It's very true. You do it, it, you do need a, just, a, you know, if you're a natural person um, then just go up a step more yeah because once you get under the lights it washes you out you know so you do need a bit more that is that is very makeup, true yeah one and thing i will say is don't do fake tan 
Please do not do fake tan. I hate the stuff. It's goddamn awful. It's patchy. It's horrible to edit. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Never worn that in my life. So just yeah. before we finish and people yeah. can find out more about you, I had this this idea I was talking to you about before, which is that even if somebody's listening to this and thinking, oh, no, I, I don't want this, but it might be a wonderful present for someone else. So if you ah, can think amazing. of somebody in your life, a woman in your life who maybe she's had a difficult yeah. year or lockdown was was hard for her and she still hasn't recovered or something like this, for the, and that is such an amazing affordable price Fantastic. to come and have that just for the experience i just think that would be a, that would be a great a great thing also can i say shrewsbury it's very it's quite central isn't it we're quite near birmingham uh, yeah so you know birmingham so well bristol connected. liverpool manchester yeah. all jump these, on the train london's only three hours so yeah. you could have an amazing day or even a weekend because it's isn't it beautiful yeah. here julie oh it's fantastic i absolutely love it i've only been here uh two and a half years um the first two were in lockdown <laughs> um but it's such a beautiful place it's full yeah. of history it's full of local businesses independent businesses history oh there's just yeah. so much it's yeah so come amazing. down and i will take you out for a drink so there we go yeah. <laughs> okay so it only remains to ask you how can people get in touch and i will obviously put any links you give me in the show notes um, and on the yeah video so um so i've got my website uh which is julie richards portraits.com uh, i'm also on instagram julie richards portraits uh facebook julie richards portraits i'm just julie richards portraits wherever okay. you go uh, i'm on cool. linkedin as well i'm not on tiktok not gone no, down I'm that not, route yet. i'm not i'm not going there <laughs> no say never but i'm not there yet i'm yeah don't think no. that'll happen but, but who knows <laughs> who knows yeah, okay all right so on. what a fascinating um campaign what a, just just a brilliant thing to do and oh sorry um, i yes. missed something i missed yes. something um oh, so at the end of it all when i've done the 40 ladies um we are also having a celebratory did i say that right celebratory, celebratory. Yes. no i can't say no <laughs> never mind it's all about the picture not about what's coming out you know that's the one yeah evening so um it will literally be i'm not sure where where yet but i will be printing off one image from each lady and there will be uh, a quote by them um one of the questions that i've asked probably underneath um and so it will be like a gallery exhibition celebrating these 40 ladies that have taken part so there will be um included in that price there is a ticket for two people so it can be the lady that's taken part and whoever they wish to bring with yes. them and also because you know everybody has a story to tell and this is the other thing about taking part in this campaign as well is it's about telling these stories um you know for ladies and i've had some great stories so far and if they want to they can get up and tell their story. Wow. Um, wow. And also about this, how this, you know, how this experience has changed their Wonderful. outcome life, you know, because Wonderful. so far every woman has just felt so great afterwards. And 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 for me, as not even as a photographer, but just as a person, which is why I, you know, why I wanted to do this campaign in the first first place. And that's what I wanted. I want, I want, I want these women to be seen, feel seen feel amazing, look amazing, which they do because, you know, we we look at our friends and our family in a totally different way to how they see themselves. Yes. And, and that is that they are beautiful. Every woman is beautiful. And yes. Deserve so that's what it's all about. Amazing. So, and just last thing, what this is going out uh, before Christmas. So, what an amazing Christmas present for somebody. Fantastic. Uh, that's Fantastic that's what I say. So, yeah. I wish you the best yeah. of luck with this because thank I am you. so I feel really passionate about this, oh, and I thank I you want, so much. I want as many women as possible to just to just yeah. love themselves, accept themselves yeah. as they are now. That's Absolutely. really in keeping with my. And you don't need to lose weight to do it either. No, please don't say I'll don't. do it, but I need to lose weight. No, you don't. Just come as you are. It's wonderful important. all right then thank you so much julie this has thank been you for a great inviting interview. me and uh yeah hopefully we'll see you see you soon bye-bye yeah thanks bye-bye